Hi, I'm Diana Rice from Children's Library in here. And I'm going to tell you about Undefeated, Jim Thorpe and the Carlisle Indian School football team by Steve Schenken. It's a book that was written with young people in mind, upper elementary aged to adult. I loved the book. And if you think you know about Jim Thorpe or Pop Warner, you'll be interested in this book. And definitely, if you're interested in football and history, you'll enjoy this book. It takes place primarily in the 20 years before and after the year 1900, in the early days of football, and in the early days of our country when there were Indian boarding schools. At that time, when football was new, it was a very violent game. Imagine that. But more violent even than we think of football today. In fact, slugging was allowed. It's a big part of the game. You didn't stop a play until a player was not moving anymore. And you can stop him from moving in any way, including punching him. The Carlisle Indian School students, they wanted a football team. They wanted to compete with other schools. But their director, Captain Pratt, didn't want them hurt. Football was so violent in 1905, for instance, that one season, 19 football players died. Eventually, Captain Pratt came around and he decided it would be good publicity for his school if he had a football team and he could take those people out on the road. They had to go out on the road because they didn't really have a field. And he agreed when the students came and asked him if we could have a football team. He said yes, but there were two requirements. One, you could not slug the other team, even though that was a big part of the game at the time. You could not physically interact by punching any player of the opposite team. And the second thing was, within two to four years, they had to beat the big four teams at the time. They were mostly East Coast, Princeton, Yar Yale, and Harvard. This was in the early 1900s. And this little Indian school football team, he told them, sure, you can have a football team, you just have to beat the big ones. So they decided that they would give it a shot. Jim Thorpe doesn't show up in this book and at the Carlisle Indian School until a few years later, about eight years later, when he's 15 years old. He knows all about Indian boarding schools. He's been in a couple of them. And he knows all about the football team because in just eight years, they have beaten at least one of the big four and really made a name for themselves in intercollegiate football um, uh, teams and scores and play. He comes roaring in to Carlisle Indian School. <laughs> Not really. The first time he does something athletic, He's walking off the football, walking off the field, farming field, in his overalls, and he sees some people jumping over this thing. He says, what are you doing? And they said, it's a high jump, but we've got it up to this height and nobody can jump over it. And he says, eh, I'll give it a try. In his overalls and his farm boots, walking right off the farm field, he leaps right over the bar that was set for the high jump. That starts his career in track, and a couple years later, he decides he wants to play on the football team. He's almost six foot tall, and he weighs a whopping 140 pounds. And Coach Pop Warner says, uh-uh, you can't play football. You're my track star. And he says, just watch me. If anybody else on the team can take me down and hurt me, I won't play. Twice. Pop Warner lines up everybody else on the team and tries to get them to catch Jim Thorpe as he's carrying the football, running down this muddy football field they have. Nobody else can catch him, and he's on the team. And I'm going to stop telling you about this book because it is so exciting, and there are so many great stories in here about individual football games, like the time in 1911 when 40,000 people showed up more than the crowd at the World Series to watch Harvard play the Carlisle Indian School football team. Fifty Harvard players suited up to Carlisle's 16. Guess who won the game? I'm not going to tell you. You'll love this book. 
We have kind of a movie theme going on with all of our books here. Has there been a movie about Jim Thorpe? There actually is an old movie um, called Jim Thorpe All-American. I think uh, Burt Lancaster played <laughs> Jim Thorpe oh. at that time, so. <laughs> what other sports did Jim Thorpe do? Uh, Jim Thorpe is also well known for winning two gold medals in the 1912 Olympics in the pentathlon and the decathlon, really easy events. <laughs> um, he also went on to play professional baseball um, and professional football. In fact, um, he was the first uh, president of what became the National Football League.